What's good boys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're talking about something that I have been a part of, probably you and pretty much every person in the world right now has been a part of, and that's social media. So right now I have like 4,000 followers on Twitter, I think that's being pretty generous. And even when I tweet some things, every once in a while I get some weird comments that make me think, or some funny comments. And I know with just 4,000 this happens to me, so I know it definitely has to happen to NBA players who have millions and millions of followers. So today we're going to be looking at some NBA players' comments comments on Instagram. So I got a list of guys in mind, and, and some of them are just, I got them because they're polarizing, which means that they have fans that love them and they have fans that hate them. And then the first one we're going to do is Russell Westbrook. I think we all like Russell Westbrook. The reason I picked him is because he's got a specific style, and I know some people in the comment section are going to be talking about his fits. Russell Westbrook has always been a guy to express himself with his outfits, and this one is... Yeah, he expressed himself for real. So somebody right here says, bruh, get some swag. Those pants are no. Those pants might be just no. So the second outfit I can get behind. I kind of dig the shirt. But uh, JBug14 said, watch when I make it to the league. My fashion going to be like no other. The boys just said, like, Russell think he a fashion killer. When JBug make it. It's going to be a whole nother story. We don't know how far along J-Bug is. I'm not going to click on his profile. He could be 6. He could be 19. So he could be on the way. We just got to be looking out for J-Bug. This dude is really trying to take it at Russell Westbrook. Someone need to take this dude down or not. His ego is getting the best of him. Look at how he treats every reporter. He seems like one of the most undesirable people to meet on the whole planet. I feel like he'd be a sarcastic, clean channel. The whole combo, what a POS. Now, I want to say this. I'm going I'm to defend Russell Westbrook just a little bit. The way he treats reporters is completely different what, than what I think he treats a fan. His, what he thinks his job is and what really his job is to go out there and ball out every night. And you cannot deny that the dude does his job well. He's always been a dude that never really liked reporters. That, that's okay. But I can guarantee you he's not going to treat his fans like he treats the reporters. So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend Russell just a little bit though. So now we went to Russell Westbrook, who we, we got on for his fashion. We're going to get to Wardell Stephen Curry because either you're a Stephen Curry fan or you hate him. There really is no in-between. So let's look at some of his pictures. So Steph Curry has this picture of him dapping up Kevin Durant. We all know Kevin Durant went down with an injury about a week ago. And the caption says, rest up, brother. We'll hold it down in the meantime. Prayers up. That was a week ago, and we know that they've actually been losing a bunch since KD went down. And then this dude just straight up said, nah, you'll choke it away like last year. Again, either you love him or you hate him. Dude said, WTF, come on, Steph, we need you to be the MVP. You've been for the last two years. You can't let KD take over your team. He raw, he want to be my favorite small forward, but you the best PG to ever do it. True story from the heart. True story from the heart. So next we have DeMarcus Cousins. Believe it or not, there are some people out there that just hate DeMarcus. I'm not one of those people, but this comment is the best I've seen so far. I go to church, worship you to get the five assists I need to win in fantasy this week. Then you foul out. Boogie, I'm disappointed. Great offensive game tonight, but come on, man. Let's keep it together. Fantasy, man. You got to love and hate fantasy. Next picture, people are just spamming how he got dunked on. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'll show the clip. He did get murdered by somebody we talked about earlier. It's about a race, a 10-point Oklahoma City lead. Westbrook, cocking the hammer. Hashtag should have went to Boston. Hashtag should have went to Boston. Now, now this is funny because, to be honest with you, he never really had a chance to go to Boston. Even if he wanted to, it was up to the front office to trade him to Boston. There was never a time where he had the opportunity to sign there. So, the hashtag should have went to Boston is always key. Especially because there are some Boston fans out there that think that everybody's coming to them. So, next we have Isaiah Thomas, the true king of the fourth quarter. Somebody commented on this picture. Him and MJ, gotta say, great picture. Two great players. Bruh, if someone tried to punch Isaiah on the face, they'd break their hand and he just laugh. This dude jaw looks strong as hell. Look at it. He ain't he ain't lying. Lastly, we have Kevin Durant. Now Kevin Durant mysteriously deleted his Instagram a couple months ago. So we're on his Twitter. He tweeted, happy to announce I'll be visiting the first NBA Academy in India this summer. Huge thanks to NBA India. Excited to meet the young players. Let's let's just read some of the replies to this. The first one, 
immediately you got the snake you got the snake okay Enjoy your loved ones today and the turkey and the stuffing and the mac and cheese and honey baked ham and those sweet baked beans. This is Thanksgiving. Now you think that everybody giving him a, a just a cup, give him a day off. It's Thanksgiving, right? Nope. Are you eating snake today? It never ends. It never ends. No matter what. Thank you, Charlie Strong. I don't even know who Charlie Strong is. Lost in a barrel, hit him with it. Thank you, Kevin Durant. Said nobody. Let's go, rip it, rip it, trash, trash, trash. It's all, it's all trash. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave it a like. I always try to bring something new for you guys, so hopefully you did enjoy it. It's been a king in the fourth quarter, and I'm out.